Hey what's up guys, it's iTech Guy, and I think it's time to review the MacBook Pro. I know that the design depends on personal preference, but I think that this MacBook is one of the best looking laptops Apple has ever made. It is available in two different colors, silver and space grey. So if you want to be a cool kid in school and show off your new MacBook, go for the space grey. This laptop is really light, almost the same as MacBook Air. It is also really thin, and it has pretty small bezels around the display. Talking about the display, it's really bright and it has awesome viewing angles and grey colors. So it's great for watching some crispy 4K videos or TV shows from Netflix. Next, let's talk about trackpad and keyboard. As you probably know, trackpad is a lot bigger than the previous generation. And that is not mechanical trackpad, but just a piece of glass, which simulates the click using Taptic Engine. Force Touch is also really useful when you want to open a link without entering it or quickly preview some photos or videos. Some people complain that they have problems with palm rejection, but for me, it works fine. It gets some time to get used to the new keyboard, but after a few days I have to admit that I really like it and I can't imagine switching to the old one. It uses second generation butterfly switches and the key travel is pretty small. Backlight is really good and bright. It really helps with typing in dark room. I was pretty skeptical about the performance because when you look at the specs on this thing, you think overpriced and underpowered. Because for $14.99, you'll get 2.0 GHz Intel i5 processor, 8 GB of RAM, Intel Iris Graphics 540, and 256 GB of flash storage. But actually, I'm really impressed. Browsing internet and light stuff doesn't lack at all and even really power-demanding apps like Final Cut Pro X or Adobe After Effects are working awesome. I was able to export a 3-minute 4K video in 3 minutes. You can check my full video about this, I will link it down in the description. Many people are saying that this computer is an ex MacBook Air, but I must disagree with that. MacBook Pro is for people who works a lot with professional and demanding software, and MacBook Air could be a great choice for those who use computer rather for web browsing, checking email, editing documents, and making presentations. The most controversial thing about this laptop is that it has two USB Type-C ports, which means you'll need to buy a dongle to connect everything. If you want to buy an adapter from USB-C to USB-A, Apple offers it, but I'm not recommending this because the USB type you get is all USB 2.0. I recommend you to buy a dongle from Energy because it's USB 3.0, which means faster data transfer. You can live with one dongle, but I understand photographers or professional video editors who need a SD card slot. They will need another expensive adapter. Oh, and I'm glad that it still has a headphone jack. The battery life is really good. I was able to get about 10 to 11 hours of light usage and 5 to 7 hours of more power demanding usage, like video editing. When I use my computer daily for 3 to 4 hours per day, I need to charge it every 2 or 3 days. So now, the conclusion. Overall, I think this computer is the best compromise of price and performance. For $14.99, you will get awesome design and smooth macOS experience. High quality retina display is great for watching movies and consuming media. Typing on this new butterfly switches is really comfortable, and big trackpad with its taptic engine is the best of both worlds. I have no complaints about this computer, I must say, I really like it. And touch bar, for me, useless, unless some third party developers will start to release apps supporting it. Alright, so thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, 
And if you want to see more content, click that subscribe button. Also, please check me on Twitter and see you guys later.